Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys all doing? Oops, there we go. Happy family, very nice. Wow, that's like a four of wands energy. Well, a lot of emotion here though. We have community. Oh, there's some kind of an event. Could be an engagement. You may be going to some kind of event that'll make you really happy. So. I feel this is something in your community. Ooh, taking action. Someone's headed in your direction. Wow, someone's thinking about you. Wow, Sag, someone's thinking about you here. Uh, they're definitely gaining some kind of clarity. Somebody wants to take action. Maybe they want to clear something up. But I feel this is someone who is, whew, whoever it is you're thinking about, is probably thinking about you. <laughs> I get that feeling here. As someone who wants to take action, this is about, this is that yin and yang energy. And I feel someone is gaining some kind of clarity and insight. They're up in their head to do with this community. They may want to reach out. There may be an event they want to invite you to. So there's someone's definitely thinking about this. This could be you. Could be the other person. All right, Sag, what's happening here? What does Sagittarius need to know? This could be your love life, finance, career. We'll see where it goes. I'm only doing uh, a general this week. I'm not going to do the split readings. Just don't have the time. All right. Sagittarius. Sag. This one wants to come out and that one. All right. This one first. Yeah. You have someone here who's very focused on this passionate energy. Someone's feeling enthusiastic. Okay. They're focused on something here. Definitely action. <laughs> you got somebody chasing after you here. This is somebody who needs to gain some clarity before they come rushing towards you, but they're feeling more decisive. They're feeling uh, enthusiastic. So I feel like you're about to get some kind of a communication. Uh, this is somebody who there, there's an event, something happening. You may have met this person at a, a, a wedding, an engagement, a party. Uh, they could be a friend of your family, things like that. It really could be anyone. We'll see where that takes you. Yeah, this is an energy of kind of holding back, feeling like you may need to protect. Don't rush into anything, Sag, okay, or somebody here. This is someone who's generally more decisive. They chase after you. But there's this energy of kind of holding back, looking at all the details. Okay, this is someone who may be too much focused on that passionate energy. You may have met this person somewhere. They're very focused on that action. Okay, like you can see these two horses there. Someone's focused on that. Maybe a little bit immature. I would be a little bit cautious. Yeah, someone's thinking about emo their emotions, their feelings, their happily ever after. Someone's holding back here. They're looking at something. You may feel like you need to protect yourself. You may be the one that holds back. Don't rush into anything. This is going to be the heart of the reading. You want to make sure this is someone who's emotionally available, able to put all their cups on the table. So someone who may be thinking about their own happiness, a little selfish, me, 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 right? Yeah, so don't rush in with this person just yet. It, it is someone who's enthusiastic, though. They do want to come towards you. They're chasing after you. Uh, but they, I feel like they're kind of holding back. This is someone who may be thinking about their feelings, emotions. They're, they want to take action. Yeah, this is someone you want to make sure whoever comes in, they work for it, okay? Make sure that somebody earns that trust. They put the effort in. Yeah, there you go. You have a Knight of Cups. You may actually have several people around you. It's quite possible. I see the community. It's like a Three of Cups. Somebody is trying to figure something out here, though. Something more romantic. Yeah, this is about investing emotionally. Someone's not so sure. They have one foot in the door and out. They may not be sure this is going to work. All right, they want to put the effort in. But they are coming towards you. They are coming in to communicate. Some of you may have a couple people. So yeah, you may have a choice between two people, Sag. So you're going to pull back. You're going to be very patient. Uh, this is a... Uh, finding that inner balance. So I feel what you're going to do is you got someone who's right for you and someone who isn't, okay? Uh, someone may be actually pulling back and looking at you and seeing you differently than they maybe did before, okay? Because uh, it doesn't feel like an X energy. It feels more like you've already met this person. They're in your community. Uh, you may have to travel in the same social circle, but there's something to do with commitment, yeah, there's some manifesting energy, magician in the mirror. You could be mirroring this person or you have two people who are mirroring each other. You could be manifesting each other. Uh, there's something about happiness, about a commitment. 
Someone here is a little strategic. I would be a little bit careful of anybody who's strategizing. Make sure that they're not just focused on that physical energy. Uh, it's telling you to hold back and look at the details. There's a little bit of that protective mode. But I think they're holding back. I think this person's thinking about their feelings, their emotions, their happiness, the future. Should they take action? Should they rush after you? Uh, it's going to be a lot of work. Make sure they do work for you. Okay, could be somebody you work with, but make sure this person puts in the effort. Someone may be seeing you as a hard worker if they work with you as well. They may be reaching out, thinking about investing. There's two cards of patience here, side by side. Interesting. I've seen that in another reading as well. Maybe even a couple. This is about pulling back, making sure this person is invested emotionally. Because I feel like you may have to be a little patient. This is someone who may, they may work a lot. They may, you know, only have so much time. Uh, I feel this is someone who's definitely holding on to their money, holding back. I, I feel like you're not sure you want to invest in this person uh, or persons. It looks like there could you could have two people who are sort of mirroring each other, uh, the way things play out. So uh, make sure you think before you leap into anything here. Uh, I feel as though... I think you got someone here who's pulling back and looking at you differently or they're going to try something different. So be careful you're not being manipulated. If someone tries something different because they still have one foot in, out, in and out the door. They may actually not be fully invested or they may never. Or you may need to just be patient and just sort of wait to see what happens. Hmm. I'm just going to move this and I'm going to focus on that happy family. There we go. That came out. Yeah, you've got someone here who... Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be yourself. This could be them. Flip it. I'm going to read it as incoming. So someone here is definitely focused on uh, their career, their finances, their work. They could be self-employed, entrepreneur, but they're focused on that passion. This is someone who knows what they want. They're not afraid to go after it. But I feel as though you've got someone who's more focused on the passionate energy. Someone's leveling up here, though. Uh, they're thinking about something here. Uh, so let's see what this magician and the mirror is. What is this magician and the mirror? So someone manifesting something here. Some mirroring energy though. Yeah, so there is definitely... So I feel as though you have someone who's kind of leveling up. They may be coming towards you. You may have met this person some time ago. Uh, you may find them very charming, very charismatic. You could have two people, though, that mirror each other. Somebody who's a little faster, somebody who's... Definitely, I feel that they how they mirror each other, maybe self-employed, entrepreneur, very hardworking. But someone here is heading in your direction, kind of slow. This is someone who's planning success. They want to, they take their time. Uh, they want this... They look at all the details very carefully. They plan things out. Uh, there's some kind of an event. Someone may be making plans here. You know, there's something happening very suddenly. Someone's headed in your direct. You may have met someone very suddenly. There's definitely a very strong physical connection. I see an Aries energy. Scorpio for some of you. Yeah, there's something with this tower. This is somebody who's either having an epiphany, gaining some clarity and insight. This is someone who's coming in. Someone to hear, be careful you're not being manipulated by someone who's very, that really just wants everything their way. Okay, this is someone who's, could be someone who builds houses, homes. You may have met them, like I said, at some kind of an event. Something's happening. There's going to be an event here. Wow. If you haven't met someone, you very well may. Yeah, you've got a couple people. There's someone here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, or just somebody who's uh, self-employed, business owner, very much focused on their money. This is someone who's very action-oriented. But I feel, I, I would, you either have two people, or you've got someone here who's kind of of two minds, or they're doing a lot of, gaining a lot of clarity and insight into a situation. This person's thinking about you. They're gaining some kind of clarity, maybe having some aha moments. Maybe this person feels like you've gone off to meet new people and they're coming towards you. This is someone who's a little bit slow um, or a lot. Uh, the King of Pentacles literally can be so slow they almost go backwards. <laughs> That's how I feel sometimes. But I actually feel this is someone who's headed your way. Uh, they're planning something. Uh, they're gaining clarity and insight. 
Uh, they're strategizing about taking some kind of action. So they may be planning something, an event, and they may invite you. It could be that simple. I see an invitation. Or maybe even a few. Tell me about this thinking, man. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, someone's thinking about making you an offer. Ooh, it could be a date. It's a fresh new start. This could be a new person. Uh, it's fresh. It's new. You may have not have dated this person. This could be your first date. Uh, they're reaching out towards you. This person's strategizing something here, some kind of an event they're planning, and they're going to invite you. Yeah, you may like this. This could be them as well. Like I say, flip it. Just take it how it resonates for you. Uh, this is, yeah, there's definitely this cup of love here. You want someone who reciprocates. So I feel like you like this person uh, right away, but I feel like you have had a tough time in love. I can see an energy here where you may have ended something, uh, maybe... You met this person on a dating site. They could come off that dating site and be coming towards you. Someone's making some kind of plans. They're stable, financial, practical. They're looking at the details. This is somebody I feel who's kind of made up their mind to take action and come towards you. So this is an interesting. There's an event, an offer. They're offering you this cup. I feel like you're going to accept it. Uh, yeah, but you're going to keep your emotions in check. Make sure that you uh, you might be the one thinking about this as well. Okay, Saj, of offering this person something, taking control. I would be cautious. If you've had a really hard time in love, you want to make sure they reciprocate. Uh, maybe just date, get to know this person. Maybe just be friends first. Uh, they may invite you to an event with their friends or family, uh, which is, I, I feel you'll accept it. But this is where this chariot comes in. You may have cancer in your chart or somebody does. This is an energy of using all the power you have to control your emotions, okay? <laughs> uh, don't let, don't rush into anything too quick. I feel, I feel as though you need to control that. You may have a habit of, of, uh, you're just very loving, very nurturing, very caring. So this is an energy of staying in control of your emotions that need to reach out to somebody and, and to nurture them and love them. Just take your time. Don't rush into anything. Stay in your power. Okay, but I feel like there's a, a strong connection between you and this person. And I feel there's some kind of drive, travel. Uh, you may be, someone may offer you something and you may hop in your vehicle and go. You're going to accept something here. And this could actually... I, I feel like you need to keep your emotions in check here, though. Yeah, be a little bit careful because you have someone here who, look at that, someone who's only offering one cup, nothing more. They're focused on that physical. It's me, me, me. It's all about me. So be careful, okay? Because you have, I think some of you have two people, okay? I'm seeing two energies. Somebody slower, somebody faster. Uh, just... Someone may be reaching out, they're only offering one cup, but this could be yourself, not offering all of yourself. Just offer one cup, take the time to get to know this person. This could very well be you if you have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart. This could be an epiphany you're having. I think you're going to have an uh, invitation that's going to happen very suddenly. Okay, This person has strategized and planned this, I feel, for a while. Uh, but make sure this person is mature, okay? Be a little careful that they're mature. They're not focused on themselves or just that physical. They just want action, okay? Be a little careful. Uh, I feel like you need to. And I do feel like you're going to kind of look at this. Um, you're going to pull back and kind of look to make sure this person's a good fit. There is chemistry here, uh, definitely. Uh, but that chemistry isn't everything, right? Especially when someone has one foot in the door and out. Knight of Swords, yeah, this is someone who wants everything their way. I see an Aries or Scorpio, could be anyone. This is someone who wants what they want, right? It's their way or the highways. Could be your boss, somebody you work with. Be a little careful there. Uh, but it's definitely someone who's taking action. Someone's figured out what they want. They want to work something out or they want to put some effort in. This is someone who, once they make up their mind, they go for it. Very hard worker. Uh, I see this Knight of Cups, this person coming towards you. They could be someone who wants everything their way be a little bit cautious of the emperor energy all right Saj definitely an Aries emperor doesn't have to be an Aries though it really could be anyone yeah this is somebody who's very strategic uh, somebody who's very clever very wise uh, not the most emotional uh, they may be just looking for some romance that's all they want make sure this person works for it make them work for you 
But I think you have someone here who's trying to gain some clarity about whether this will work. So somebody, this is someone who wants, kind of wants things their way. I would be careful. I don't know why I keep feeling I need to tell you to be a little bit cautious. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Be careful what you're investing in. Makes this person be patient. Make them put the effort in. And I feel like what's happening is you got someone who wants you. Uh, they want to take action. They're going to offer you this cup. Okay, and I feel like you're going to accept it, but you, it's telling you to use all the power you have to keep your emotions out of it. Don't let your emotions run away with you. Uh, don't. This is somebody who may have lost control of a situation. Maybe they uh, came towards you too quickly, changed their mind, okay, and rushed away again. So I see that need for caution. It could be just things going on up in your head and their head. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Why is this here? Who is this Knight of Swords? There we go. Yeah, so someone has a little bit of regret. Yeah, you got someone who has a little bit of regret. They rushed in and rushed out. Oh, they may have held back. You got someone here maybe very selfish, uh, stubborn, kind of holding back, protecting themselves and their money. Uh, I feel this person's you got someone who's more interested in the physical than they are the actual emotional. They just want a little romance, one foot in the door and one out. So you're getting a bit of a warning. I feel like there's two people, but I'm going to cover this major energy first. Okay. Tell me about the five of pentacles. Yeah, there's someone here who maybe feels this. Oh, it's not four. Pardon me. I take all that back. It's the five of pentacles. Someone here has some regrets, remorse. They were looking at the cup half full. Maybe they um, felt like they weren't good enough. Maybe they treated you that way. Be careful. This is the heart of the reading here. So someone coming in with lack. Someone has some regrets. They weren't looking at this two of cups, their emotions, their feelings. They were offering one cup. They were focused on themselves. They regret it. Wow. They may be coming in to make an apology, uh, to give you an apology. Could be someone who's a little shy, a little apprehensive. Uh, you got, I feel like there's two energies. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. So someone who may have ghosted you, ignored you, they may regret it, they didn't open up emotionally, they didn't see the possibilities of the happiness. Uh, I feel like it, some of you may have spent time with this person already. Yeah, this is taming the beast. Yeah, there's someone who needs to tame the beast within themselves. They lack the confidence for some reason. Uh, they didn't have a lot of confidence in themselves. I feel as though this is yourself as well. Taming the beast within, holding back from somebody. So it's telling you to hold back. Don't rush towards this too quickly. Keep your emotions out of it. Don't lose control. Okay, keep your emotions in, under control. I feel like you have them there, but I do think you're going to accept this offer. <laughs> I think it's actually going to make you pretty happy, to be honest. Now, this person may come toward, come to pick you up and take you somewhere, but there is something here. Like uh, I, I'm telling you to be a little bit careful. Uh, it could be this person was insecure. They were looking at negative energy, uh, something that may have. Uh, they're regretting not seeing that two of cups. Their emotions, their feelings. They offered one cup, nothing more. Ten of Cups. There we go. Yeah, so there is a little bit of fear of being hurt, fear of not being emotionally fulfilled. Uh, I feel like there's someone here who didn't have the strength and the confidence. Maybe they were afraid of being hurt, but this could be yourself. Okay, so be a little bit careful here with this. Uh, there could be, yeah, someone has some regrets. Someone may have hurt you as well. There may have been a third party. Maybe they have regrets, remorse. Um, there's some kind of unfounded fears here, though, because I feel there's someone who was insecure, lacking the confidence in themselves. Maybe they didn't feel confident. Maybe they're afraid of being hurt, uh, that they would regret opening up emotionally. I think that's what's happening here. Yeah, this is someone's tradition, habits, belief, the way they conduct themselves. Someone may not have been faithful. Maybe they have some regrets for not being faithful. Okay, maybe it's to do with you. Maybe it's to do with someone else. Wow. Yeah. See, there's that temperance, pulling back, seeing things differently. Yeah. You may be pulling back, looking at this person. You may have someone here that um, isn't right for you. Okay. So you may need to, uh, this could be someone who made you feel not good about yourself, or they may have just came towards you with lack. Uh, but I do feel there's some kind of insecurity. 
just be strong and be brave here. I think you're stronger and braver, actually. I, I feel like you have a lot of power here. <laughs> yeah, somebody, someone lost control here because they were focused on themselves uh, and they regret it. I, I, that's what I feel. And now I don't know whether this is someone who, uh, for some of you, it's there could have been a third party. Uh, they may have not been faithful. They may be going through some kind of healing. Uh, they could be pulling back and seeing themselves different, changing their belief tradition, the way they conduct themselves. Someone may come towards you completely different. Make sure they are. You got this here twice for a reason, Sag. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, some Pisces energy. I feel like this person is just sort of taking a little pause here. They're looking at things from every angle. They want to approach you, okay, about working things out. So someone who's seeing things different. I feel like they're trying to think about how to approach you, how to make this work. They're very strategic. Now they're gaining some kind of clarity, you see, gaining some kind of insight. One foot in the door and out. They may be coming towards you. I feel like you got two people. The, the two energies just aren't meshing. You know, there's someone here who's looking at all the possibilities, you see. And I feel this is someone who... Is ready to take action they now know what they want and I feel they're going to come in and try to communicate with you they see the positive energy they're seeing this positive energy the possibilities they're seeing things differently uh, possibly uh, about themselves the way they conducted themselves they may be feeling a little ashamed okay or have some kind of regrets for not recognizing what they have right in front of them that two of cups that connection so you definitely want that. So whatever you do, keep your emotions in check or you're going to be the one regretting it. Be strong and be brave, okay? Whoever this is. I just feel like there's two energies meshing and they don't mesh. Two different people. So I'm going to go back over it when I'm finished these last two. Tell me about the seven. Yeah, so there's someone here weighing the pros and the cons about whether they should come and invest. It could be yourself being strong, brave, controlling yourself, okay? Something lacking here, though. This is someone who just felt they weren't good enough or they lacked the confidence, the strength. Uh, maybe they, something to do with their habits, um, a commitment. They regret something. Maybe there was a third party. Some of you, you had someone who cheated on you. Um, they want to heal this, possibly. Uh, the temperance is a healing uh, it's two people coming together, too, that are just right. Someone didn't do things right. They didn't do something properly. It doesn't have to be cheating. This could be somebody who um, had a lot of feelings and regret not telling you how they felt about you because they didn't lack faith in themselves. Maybe they weren't faithful in a pa past relationship or you've, you're not necessarily having any faith in them. Uh, There's definitely a few possibilities. But this is an energy of weighing the pros and the cons. Um, somebody coming towards you, somebody maybe seeing the possibilities, kind of pulling back, seeing you differently than they were before. There was something out of balance with this person or this energy. Some of you may have a choice between two. You may have a couple people coming towards you. You may have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, and an Emperor energy, which really could be anyone. It'll be up to you to figure out who that is. But Emperor is someone who knows what they want, but sometimes this is someone who uh, comes in and they want everything their way, and they strategize to have what they want. Um, so you may be trying to decide whether you want to invest in this. I feel like you're going to pull back and look at this person to see if they're different. I feel they're going to approach you differently, but it's I, I still feel that you need to be cautious. It's all over this reading. This person may love you. They may have feelings, but I feel as though this is somebody who... They're very action-oriented, but they're focused on their money, career, and finances, but they're focused on that physical energy. They may come in and tell you a story, or maybe this person came towards you, offered one cup, and they regret it. They may have told you something, and maybe they were focused on themselves too much, and they regret it. Maybe they lack the confidence. Um, maybe this person hurt you. Maybe they even hurt themselves, okay? Because there's that ten of cups, that emotional fulfillment. Now, they didn't get what they wanted. 
Okay, because they didn't approach you right. They weren't, maybe they came towards you and they needed to release and heal something. This is someone who needs to balance head over heart as well. And that's what you need to watch for. But let's see why this temperance is here for you. Yeah, so you have a choice between two people. I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly a Gemini, uh, uh, this Emperor energy. It's, some of you may have two or three people around you. Uh, but this is telling you to weigh the pros and the cons before you invest. You may be comparing one person to, to another as well. Yeah, we got the magician and the mirror. You may have uh, two people who are similar mirroring each other. There may be something you're comparing and you're seeing some something in common that they have. Uh, but there is this choice in love. There's, there's somebody here who's just right. There's a lot of chemistry here. I, I feel like someone is looking at you differently as well. They're seeing you different. There's If you have just had a reunion with somebody... Um, uh, you've run into them suddenly out in the community or something has happened. They could be having this epiphany. There's something different about you, but it could be both of you. So you or you're comparing two people and you have to make a choice. You're, you're looking at them to see who's a good fit. Who's the right person for you, Sag? I see a Gemini and uh, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo are the strongest. So this earth sign energy is interesting. It could be just somebody who has a lot of money, very action oriented, very focused on their money, the future. Someone's making plans though. So there's somebody coming back around. Some of you may change your mind about somebody or they're changing their mind about you. And I feel this is an energy of going with the flow. Just see how things go. I would be cautious. Uh, of anyone around you. I feel they do have some similarities. So, uh, But one person's definitely a little more emotional. They may just want to date. Uh, they may approach you in a different way. They may want to just take their time uh, and do things right. If you have someone who's coming back around, they may want to make things right, do things right this time because they have regrets. They want, they want another opportunity to show you that they can be faithful, um, okay, uh, to learn about each other to get on that same page making sure you're just right with each other maybe this person wasn't sure you were just right you were the right person maybe they regret it maybe they made a bad choice in the past i see a lot of stuff here yeah there's some cornucopia someone's a little afraid to step out of their comfort zone now this could be you just wait to see what happens if you have a couple people possibly two people coming back around uh, or you've changed your mind about one person because you're weighing the pros and the cons and you're moving towards another or vice versa. So you're going to be looking at this carefully. Who's a good fit? Who ha There's a lot of chemistry, maybe even between both people. Uh, but there's definitely a strong Gemini energy. This person's strategizing and thinking. They see the possibilities. They're gaining some kind of clarity and insight. They may also be weighing the pros and the cons uh, between you and somebody else as well. They may be... You know, or they're thinking about investing and they're not sure. <laughs> but I see some cornucopia. There's someone here who was afraid to step out of their comfort zone. Uh, they've missed it. I feel someone's missed an opportunity with you. Uh, and they want another opportunity. And I feel there's someone here who had, uh, they were very stressed out. I feel this is someone where there was like, I feel it's an energy of where they hurt themselves because they, and possibly yourself as well. I see that because of unfounded fears, because of their lack of faith, maybe even in themselves, okay? So that's an interesting energy, yeah. So there's some thinking here. You and someone else are thinking of each other. We got some air energy. You're in each other's thoughts. Make sure you think this through clearly and carefully, okay? If this is yourself, this could be them thinking of you. Wow, about stepping out of that comfort zone. There's cornucopia here. There, you and, and one of these people, whoever they are, now sees the positive energy, the possibilities. This is someone who maybe didn't see the possibilities with you before. Uh, because they either didn't have the confidence or they felt like they weren't good enough, whatever the situation. Or maybe they didn't have enough money and they do now. They feel more confident. It could be simply that. Or maybe they felt that way about you. Maybe they didn't see your strength, all your positive energies. They're regretting it. So interesting. Sad, this is a great reading. I'm going to pull out one more. Tell me about the strengths here. There we go. Yeah, there's someone here who had some fears, confusion. They didn't see the strengths, the possibilities. They may have kept this to themselves. Uh, someone may have had some fears. Maybe they didn't have enough money. They lacked the confidence. Uh, and they may have just kept it to themselves. They may have even ghosted you uh, at some point. But I think you got someone who misses you. Someone here is lonely. Uh, or is just 
you're, we've got two lonely people going through these transitions. But I see this energy of uh, some kind of date, some kind of an event happening, and it's going to make you happy. But don't let your emotions run away with you. Don't try to control this by offering up your love and nurturing. Don't give this person all of yourself. Make them earn it. Make them sure they approach you properly. And I feel like that's what someone's trying to do. So you're both thinking of each other. You're both being very logical. <laughs> so there is some time a little bit of rest and rejuvenation you both need to get out of your heads for starters clearing out negative thoughts negative energy patterns and taking a little break maybe you've been on a break with someone because uh, maybe they were moving too slow and you've had an epiphany that you're just going to end it there's no foundation it's not going anywhere kind of energy and i do see the mirroring you could be mirroring each other or you have two people some of you it's two people who are similar and you're comparing them so, or you're just comparing two people. <laughs> you may be manifesting two people here. Interesting. All right, Saj. It, it looks positive. I feel this person will reach out. And I feel, um, you know, it could be you. Maybe you're thinking of reaching out because this person, you know, that you know, there could be something here. This cornucopia. This is emotional fulfillment. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of possibilities of this going forward very well. Just go with the flow. See what happens. Okay. Lovely. Bye for now.